So you've entered your first triathlon, which is great news, but perhaps you're a little bit worried about a whole list of equipment that you need, maybe including something like this incredible bike that I've got here. But you'll be reassured to hear that you don't need a latest state-of-the-art time trial bike simply to get going with your first swim, bike and run. And today, I'll be explaining why. Right, so you have entered into your first triathlon, and like I just touched upon, it doesn't mean you need an all singing and dancing fancy time trial machine. In fact, if you own a bike, then whatever that is, it'll be fine. Whether it's a mountain bike, or some sort of time commuting bike, a little bit like this one, it'll be fine. As long as it has two wheels, it's in good working order, then you're gonna be good to go. But of course, you might not own a bike, and in that case, then perhaps you know somebody who does, and if you're able to borrow one, try and do so from somebody ideally that's the same size as you, and just get them to help you go through a simple check of things like the tires and the brakes and the gears to make sure that that's gonna be fine once you hit that first triathlon. But whether it's your bike or a borrowed bike, ultimately the goal for your first triathlon is to enjoy it. So do have a think about the suitability of the bike that you're gonna use, because if it's a short novice triathlon, then you should be fine with a mountain bike because you're not going to be riding for too long. But of course, if you want to do some sort of longer half Ironman or even full Ironman distance race, then you're not going to want to be using one of those for that. And equally, if there's some steep hills in the bike course, then make sure that the bike you're going to be using is going to have lots of nice and easy gears to get you around. But it could be that you're a seasoned cyclist after all and actually have a fairly good mid-level or even better bike such as this one sitting in the garage. And although thoughts of nice time trial bikes as an upgrade for doing your first triathlon could be springing to mind, there's absolutely nothing wrong with getting going in your first triathlon on something such as this. Now, if this is your first triathlon, well, there are a number of advantages that a road bike such as this has up its sleeve. I mean, it is a much more versatile bike for riding all year round without any real bother in your training. And on that note, it is much easier to pop along to your local club or bike group ride too and feel that you can join in easily. But if you do want to make it more triathlon specific, well, there are a number of upgrades that you can add on to a road bike like this, and I'll get to those in a minute. But it is worth noting that if you are used to riding a road bike, then you're likely gonna be much more comfortable for the duration of your bike ride in the race. And that will be a lot easier than perhaps forcing yourself to try and fit onto a time trial bike that you're probably not accustomed to riding. So like I said, there are a number of adaptations and upgrades you can make to a road bike such as this to start to make you feel a little bit faster when you're tackling a triathlon. And perhaps the first thing to think about is our frontal area that's exposed to the wind. So what you really want to do is start to reduce that by lowering the front end of the bike a little bit and then also become much more used to riding down in the drops as well because these are both simple ways to reduce that frontal area. And it is worth noting that up to 80% of our drag does come from us, the rider. So although we're doing our first triathlon, doesn't mean that we should just throw aerodynamics out of the window. So a good way of thinking about getting even more aero on a bike is a first upgrade I'll talk about, which is these clip-on tri bars that I've got here. Now what they do is they bring our arms and our shoulders closer together. We're reducing that frontal area and you will be able to feel yourself going quite a bit quicker. But the good thing about them is it still leaves you with your handlebars to use if you want to revert back to that. But if you are gonna think about having these clip-on bars added onto your bike, it's a really good idea to think about raising your seat post up a little bit and then pushing your saddle forward ever so slightly as well, because that allows you to sit in the position that these clip-on bars provide on the bike a little bit easier and also opens up the hip angle as well, which just makes everything much easier when we're riding in the time trial position. Now, moving on again, another upgrade is a little bit more expensive than these clip-on bars and doesn't actually affect our position as such is our wheel choice. Now, most bikes will come with a shallow aluminium set of training wheels, much like these ones, but you can think about going for a deeper section, maybe carbon set of wheels. Now, they're gonna be quite a bit more expensive, but they will be a little bit lighter and they will hopefully make you feel like you're going much faster on race day. But if it is windy, then you should make sure that you're careful in those conditions. 
Now there are a few other smaller alterations you can make or upgrades should I say to your bike if you're thinking about your nutrition or hydration strategies and specifically hydration if you've opted for these clip on bars that I've just been talking about well you could pop a couple of different options onto those you could maybe have something like this that would sit horizontally and that allows you to drink when you're on the go and also another option is something like this that would just pop in something like that and then you've got that as a bit more of a vertical option for allowing you to drink and stay nice and aero all the time in that TT position. Of course, you don't have to use something like that. You could just use the standard water bottle positions here for regular water bottles. But if you want to try and consider being aero, then you might not want to put something on the frame, but there is an alternative. And that means adding something like this, which is a rear mounted bottle system that would just clip onto the back of your saddle rails there. And then that allows you to use regular water bottles, but they're tucked in out of the wind behind you when you're riding along. Now these are all small changes of course, but they can add up, but I wouldn't get too worried about having to do them just for your very first triathlon. In fact, just get through that and then think about maybe whether upgrading at a later date, leaving you to focus much more importantly on the swimming, biking and running for that first event. If you have been bitten by the triathlon bug after your first experience of a race, which I think might be the case, then you might be thinking about replacing your trusty old steed. And very quickly, you will realize that the market options are extremely varied for purchasing a new triathlon bike. So the best thing to do, I'd say, is draw a line in the sand and figure out how much money you're willing to spend. Then you're gonna have to think about do I want to have a road bike and all the advantages that come with that like I've just mentioned? Or do you want to go fully into the deep end and go for that time trial rig that's going to be brilliant for race day? You need to then also figure out, is it a new bike or actually might I want to be able to get more from my money by going for a second hand option? And if that's the case, then you might not be too familiar with what's out there and what you can get for your money. So just bring along a friend, perhaps that person that you might have borrowed a bike from in the first place, just to make sure that you're getting the best value for your money. So it is great news that you're getting involved in your first triathlon and stuck into some racing. And although it is really easy to get caught up in all of the fancy bike tech that's out there, I would say in the first instance, stick with what you're comfortable riding for now and focus more on your training because chances are it's your fitness that's going to play a much bigger role than how you get on in that race than your bike at this stage. Well, hopefully this has been useful and you've enjoyed the videos. So please hit that thumb up like button. Hit the globe too to get all of the other videos that we make here on the channel. And talking about those, if you want to see a video that we did about how to adapt your road bike to a triathlon bike, well, you can find that one here. And talking about those high-end TT bikes, well, I have done one about my new felt and you can find that here.